As morning rush hour got underway, traffic came to a screeching halt as the Guam Police Department's Highway Patrol Division was activated to investigate the latest traffic-related fatality. A Korean man believed to be in his 50s or 60s crossing the street into Muning hit by a car. Police spokesperson officer AJ Bellahodger. A 52-year-old uh, man from Jigo was operating a 2003 um, Toyota pre-runner. He was headed south when uh, a pedestrian um, attempting to cross the street from the cinema site towards the personal finance center was struck by the uh, operator of the pre-runner. Medics transported the victim to the Guam Memorial Hospital where he was pronounced dead at 545 this morning. So far, no arrests have been made. Highway Patrol will interview all witnesses, if, if any, uh, to include the, um, the driver of that vehicle. They'll take uh, measurements, skid marks, and what have you, and uh, they will put together their investigation and um, determine the exact uh, uh, cause for this accident. As a result of this morning's investigation, traffic had to be rerouted, causing congestion throughout the central part of Guam, and according to Balahaja, testing the patience of drivers. A lot of the areas where the traffic was rerouted, apparently people were not paying attention and um, were not being courteous and uh, there were several accidents. The auto pedestrian incident along with those additional fender benders backed up traffic leaving many motorists waiting anywhere between a half hour to an hour. DPW Director Joanne Brown. I do want to point out, and, and this is something we all need to be mindful of, this morning was a very unfortunate incident, um, and my hearts go out to the individual and his or, you know, family members uh, that are suffering the loss of this individual that died this morning. Uh, and I, I'm kind of taken aback that the priority is looking at traffic flow as a result of this accident. According to the newly confirmed director, she is fully aware of the complaints about the road construction projects. We're trying to make it as painless as possible. However, Road construction is going to require delays. It is going to require an inconvenience. I mean, we only have so much easement of government property that we have under our jurisdiction. Bottom line, without any alternatives, it seems motorists will just have to go with the flow. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.